Alright guys, welcome back to Dragon Ball Z, Tokyo Battle video. Um, we have the full translations now for all the cards, so Broly, Gogeta, and the uh, Frieza. So I just saw the Frieza translations on the Twitter, so um, I was going to use the translations here, which I can just like, you know, click it, slide, and translate, but like it's kind of janky with how it is, so I'm just going to use the, um, the stuff I have on Twitter pulled up, and I'll just leave the, um, the uh, card details here, of course, so you can at least see the card art. But, um, so we'll start with uh, Frieza first, that was one I was just translated. His super tech is the Death Beam. Uh, for one turn, he gets, uh, he gets 20% attack defense then. Uh, he causes immense damage, and he has a high chance of using a critical hit. Oh my god, actually. Wait a minute, no he doesn't. He gets 50% attack and defense for one turn. With immense and a high chance to stun. That's what that is. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, passive. The majesty of those who stand above. That's cool. He gets 160% uh, attack. And defense was 130%. And if you receive or evade an attack, he gets a critical attack. Will always be activated during that turn. And a further increase of 160% attack. And defense was 130% for three turns. Interesting. He re reduces damage received by 60% for one turn after appearance and reduces damage received by 50% on the next turn in which you participate in an attack if you acquire three or more key spheres. From the fifth turn after appearance, you receive three key spheres, reduce damage received by 40%. Damage reduction rate further increased by 20% when there is an ally in the super boss category participating in an attack. And he gets two key and 60% uh, attack up, 30% defense up for all ally. Wait a minute. Does he give two key, 60% attack, and 30% defense to all super boss allies? Is that what I'm reading? Okay, I need to, um, I, I guess I will show y'all this. Um, did, am I reading this shit right? So, so he gets this shit for free. And then if you receive or evade an attack, he gets critical hit will always activate during that turn. Then he gets 160% attack and 130% uh, defense for three turns. He reduces damage by 60% for the first time after appearing, and then 50% on the next turn after um, getting three key spheres. Starting from the fifth turn, though, it'll only be three key spheres, he'll get 40% damage reduction, but then he'll get an extra 20% damage reduction if there's a super boss category ally in the attack. So, Turn one, he has 80% damage reduction, <laughs> and then following that, he'll have 70% until turn five. And then from that point, he'll only have 60%. And he's giving all allies, all super boss allies, two key 60% attack and 30% defense. And he gets 50% attack and defense on super attack, with a high chance of stun. Like, dude, what the hell? This dude's insane. Wait, what? Okay, um... Yeah, Broly's... And not Broly, uh, Frieza, Frieza's good. Frieza's really... Really, 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 really good. What the hell, and he's on like a trillion categories. Jesus. Okay, and... So he's a 12,000 HP, 13,000 attack. So, that force's stats aren't crazy, but he is a banner unit. But um, that defense isn't too bad, actually. That's about, like, Dokkan Fest level defense for most, like, um, baseline uh, TURs. And that's low, but that's okay, and that's that's about normal, too. Yeah, dude. And his super attack looks really good, too. Yeah, they, okay, they popped off with him. That's fucking insane. Um, Jesus, okay. Uh, let's go, let's, okay, I'm like dumbfounded. Let's go on to Broly here. So, Explosion of Fighting Spirit, Leader Skill, Super Bosses, or Transformation Boost, or Full Power, 3 Key 170, an additional 30% for characters who are on the Exploding Rage or Movie Bosses category. His Super Attack, the Gigantic Impact, uh, stacks attack and raises defense for one turn, causes a colossal damage. His 18 Key, the Massive Blaster, greatly raised attack, and then greatly raises defense for four turns and causes a mega colossal damage. His passive intensifying battle power activates the intercept animation upon entry once only, 
He gets five key, 100% attack and defense, and performs additional super attack for four turns from the first appearance. He gets 150% attack and defense at the start of turn. He guards against all attacks. He gets one key in addition when collecting key spheres, and an additional 50% attack when performing a super attack, and an additional 50% defense performing an ultra super attack. He gets an additional two key and performs additional super attack as the first attacker in a turn. Or first or second attacker in a turn, my bad. An additional six key and performs additional super attack. And gets a high chance form additional super attack as the third attacker in a turn. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. So, so he'll get the guaranteed super here. Oh, my bad. I guess I will just leave this here, actually. So you'll see the car anyway, so. He'll get the... Guaranteed superhero from entry, so that's one super attack there. He'll then get the other additional super attack. Oh no, my bad, that's not super attack, that's on um, performing. So he'll get this super right here. He'll get an additional one as the first or second attacker in a turn. So that's two right there. And an additional super attack is a high chance for making another super attack. Wait, 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 wait. I got you. Okay, so ideally, then you'd want to float him off, I guess. So you'd get, you'd have this, it's the one super here, and then if you float him off, he'll get this guaranteed super into a high chance with another super attack. So it's one, two, three plus his um, other one before. Okay, yeah, dude, guaranteed guard, all this shit. The greatly raised, the greatly raised here for defense. I saw the Calix already. This dude's insane. Like he's top one in the game. Like that, he's he's that guy. That's awesome. Uh, transformation condition. I already saw this. Once uh, five turns for laps from first appearance. Uh, whoa! What is this? Oh, it's active skill. Okay. Super Saiyan full power activates domain expansion now. Domain, different dimension space for four turns. Extreme class allies, four key. Domain effect, extreme class allies and enemies. Attack defense plus 10%. And if those allies or enemies are also in the exploding range movie boss category, additional 10% attack defense. Super class allies and enemies take an additional 10% damage. Holy shit. So if you're on extreme and exploding rage, you get 20% attack and defense. And if you're a super class enemy, you take 10% more damage. Okay, mind you, this is all multiplicative too. So he's just like multiply into your stats. That's insane. Okay, link skills, prodigy, super saiyan, berserker, shocking speed, bear for battle, fierce battle, legendary power. Uh, berserker is not like the best, of course, but like it, it's fine. Like he's not going to be negatively impacted by it, which is what I liked on um, big bad bosses, big booty bitches. Uh, category super bosses, uh, transformation boost, full power, exploding rage, uh, movie bosses, pure saiyan, super saiyan, miraculous awakening, gifted warriors, and power beyond super saiyan. His yeah, super saiyan broadly full power stage is 12 key, the awakening tempest, uh, raise attack and defense for one turn, and cause colossal damage to all enemies. 18 key, gigantic catastrophe. Sounds cool. 50% uh, attack and defense, one turn, mega colossal. His passive intensifying fighting instinct gets six key, three hundred percent attack and defense. The third of turn, he still has the guard against all attacks. He gets one key in addition for a click uh, key spear, reduces damage received by twenty six percent until attacking. While the different dimension stage uh, domain is active, so that's four turns he'll have that. And additional fifty percent attack when attacking, and additional fifty percent defense when receiving uh, an attack. Oh, cool. And additional super attack gains a 26% chance of performing a critical hit when performing a super attack. And performs an additional super attack and gains an additional chance of performing a critical hit by 26% when performing an ultra super attack. Performs additional. Holy shit. Jesus Christ, is that enough? Okay, so the six keys, 300 there. Okay, guard, awesome. Gets 20% damage reduction while that domain's up. So 300% attack and defense with guard with 26 damage reduction. Uh, he'll then get. Uh, both of these, one being attacked and one attacking, he'll perform an additional super attack. Oh, he just perf okay. So it's a guaranteed super right there too. Oh, uh, I think it's twenty percent attack. I mean, uh, chance for critical hit when performing super. Then performs another additional super attack. And gets an additional twenty-six percent attack. Uh, uh, critical hit chance when performing an ultra super attack. So perform ultra, get guaranteed super, get another super attack. And then get another super attack when 18, uh, 24 key, which you're already getting here. So as long as you get 24 key, 
you will be getting um what, what the fuck even is that uh one two you know my brain i can't read it's too small now my brain is like resetting so one two three you're getting three guaranteed additional supers in this passive plus his um actual like you know attack is i mean um brain uh hidden bishop system and he's already attacking so he has his attack plus three plus hidden potential so five total super attacks yeah he, he's good he's good he's good he's really really good and he gets defense on 12k yeah no he's awesome he's yeah he is um yeah he's uh yeah, he's, he's good. He's good. Um, so over here. Yeah, just to show you if you haven't seen the art, of course. Um, let's see, where are you at, big boy? There you go. That's not his art, what the hell? Oh, is it not here yet? They might, they might not have the card art. I might have oofed up. Yeah, I don't think... Oh, no, they do. They do. Okay, here we go. I was going to say, they don't have the art yet. But there you go. See, so you have that. Um, I'll slide this back over here. So, oh my bad. I just did Broly. <laughs> Gogeta. There you go. <laughs> pretty good card, right? Pretty good card, right? Uh, Gogeta, Overflowing, Reflective, Radiance. Uh, he did Carnival, obviously, so Movie Hero, 3 key, 200. That's not crazy. I think Movie Hero is not as good as people think it is right now. Like, all they have is Orange Piccolo. So... Oh my god. Okay, um... Well, as I'm recording this, they also just dropped the new uh, summon animations. And... Okay, they just dropped everything all of a sudden. I guess I missed... I missed stuff. They just showed the... Part 1 login bonus in the login movie. The Red Zone missions. And the uh, summon animations. Okay, well, uh, we'll have to look at that in a little bit too then, I guess. Um, but yeah, so 200% movie heroes. Uh, uh, 12 key, meter impact, greatly raise attack defense for one turn and causes colossal. His 18 key stacks defense, greatly raise attack for one turn and causes mega colossal. His passive, Gogeta for radiating light. He gets 2 key, 154, 154%, start a turn. Uh, attacks effective against all types. An additional 100% attack defense for a super attack. Uh, guard against all types. Types for three turns from first appearance, okay. Uh, one key, one collecting key spheres additionally. Uh, two key and additional one collecting rainbow key spheres, okay. Uh, change a random type of key sphere other than fish rainbow key spheres and form additional set. There's a high, great chance to become a super tank. And form additional, okay. Um, yeah, so his base just looks worse than Broly's. So I was right. His base is just worse. Okay, but his transformation condition is a little bit better. Four turns from first appearance, but his base is definitely like lacking a little bit. That's a little bit weaker. His animations are also like worse than Broly's, but they're not bad, of course. It's just they're you know not as good. Uh, but okay, four turns isn't bad. Uh, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Open a Flash, prepare for battle, Fuse Fighter, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power, good stuff. Open a Flash is becoming more common now. Uh, categories: Movie Heroes, Fusion, Super Saiyans, Final Oak, Trump Card, Power of Comeback, Time Limit, Fuse Fighter, Trauma Gods, Transformation Boost, and Power Beyond Super Saiyan. Uh, Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, Super Attack First One, Twelve Key is God, Meteor Strike. Greater is attack damage for one turn, causes colossal damage. His 18 Key Exceed Blazer. That's the um Dokkan original. Uh, Master the Raised Attack Four Turns, causes mega colossal damage. And um oh yeah, this is what you're gonna be building up. This is like the uh. LR Super Saiyan Trio will have this active skill where you do this and it'll, like, it'll hit really hard. Um, passive skill, Blue Light of Kojita. Recovers 54% HP, a sort of character's attack turn for 4 turns. That's really good, so you get 2 turns of that um, from first appearance. Uh, 3 key, 200% attack and defense, start a turn. Uh, attacks effect against all types. Gain additional 100% attack and defense for a super attack. Get 2 key additional collecting key spheres. Change random type of key sphere other than Fizz and Rainbow. Uh, perform an additional super attack and perform additional another additional super attack when collecting one or more rainbow key spheres. 
great chance to evade enemies attack and a chance to perform a critical hit plus 20% per attack evaded and a great chance to nullify key blazed super attacks and counter with tremendous power okay okay i see i see it i see it is active how much can you kill with me condition able to be used from the next tech turn okay once only uh, ability tra temporarily mask the raised attack for one turn and cause ultimate damage Redirects all enemy attacks to this character for one turn and dodges. So he and then he gets golden warrior uh, becomes uh, warrior gods. So I don't know if this is true or not, but I saw that this redirect ability doesn't apply to AOEs. So I'm going to have to wait and see until he's in game to see if this is as good as I was wanting it to be. Because when I heard about this redirect ability, like this taunt. I was assuming it was going to be a ability they were giving us to let other characters be used that would otherwise be like faulty or not as good in these difficult AoE events. So we're going to have to wait and see about um how good that is. But he, he seems good. He's much better in like blue than base, but base is lacking. Uh, this seems better, of course, but he does still seem like a dodge or die type character. There's no damage reduction or guard in here anymore. They took the guard away. Even this is only three turns, but they took this away. So... I don't know. It's like... Crit chance is cool. I mean, 7% chance to dodge is good, but like, my luck's bad, so... It's likely, uh, he wouldn't do it for me. But, um, we'll see. But just from, like, first glances, I am more inclined to summon on Broly. Plus his banner is better anyway. But I, he just looks like the better card. Um, here I'll show you all this too so you can have the full card art shown. Also Broly is only one with a domain as well so just to keep that in mind as well. But um, yeah, here's his full card art here. Pretty swaggy. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Did I... Actually, I'll let this play out, and then I'll go back to Frieza. I don't know if he had an animated card or... Well, of course he doesn't. He's not an LR, but... He didn't... Yeah. Okay. I just didn't know if he had anything, but I forgot yet. They don't get stickers until they, uh... Are either a Dokkan Fest or ECA, so... Damn. I thought he'd have one. Because he's probably like, really good with that blast there. Most Frieza's do with those. But, um, yeah, so that's all of that. Um, let me pull this pack real fast since I guess this will be a little bit impromptu but um they just showed okay all of this so these are the new animations this is the red zone missions and this is the ninth anniversary movie oh shit whoops so that's fine I don't want it to be too loud okay he's playing by itself uh, we'll just put this in here real quick and uh, play it and uh we'll call the video with the uh, last these informations Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I forgot, I forgot. I need to uh, turn the audio back on so you can actually hear it. Okay, there you go. Nice, it's nice, nice, nice stuff there. Um, it's risen, risen real fast. So, uh, version two, so stage three. Um, so with six or more characters belonging to Pure Saiyans, okay. Uh, stage two as well. So, okay, wait. Okay, stage three is that, stage six. Uh, just, just clear it. Okay. 
Uh, stage seven once, clear all missions. My stage is clear stage seven, ultimate red zone. Uh, once with six characters belonging to movie hero category. Friends not included, of course. Uh, clear stage seven, uh, once with six or more time limit characters. Okay, that team kind of sucks. That might be rough. They're going to go Gita now, but I mean, that's still a bit rough. Um, and then clear stage seven within 10 turns. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Um, those should be harder events too. Um, so I'm interested to see if there's a longer, so maybe that's why they're doing that. Uh, but these are new animations too, and I'll show that to the host for the uh, new SM animations. Okay, so it's a Zeno into a Cochita Blue. I'm guessing that's what that is. Okay. It is. Oh, they just threw that in there. Oh, bro. That's a new animation, though, so that's cool. Oh, they used that. Okay, it's nice, it's nice. Yeah, Super Saiyan, God. They brought back blue, nice. Okay, okay. Well, this is long. There's a lot of special ones then. Okay. I'd like it if they kept some of these, man. There's one after it with a blue tag. Okay, that's... Or maybe... Oh, uh, maybe like... Actually, never mind. Oh, what the fuck? What is this? So long come out of hard to brought what? So you... So you lose and have to fight Broly. Did I, wait. Oh, so it's, it's a Whis. That's what it is. It's a Whis rewind. That's all it is. It's a long coming, man. Huh? I didn't, yeah, I didn't see anything different with that one. But it might have been the, the pause like this one. Okay, long. Just pure long. Just that. Okay. That's the big comment, man. Huh? I rarely ever see that animation. Okay, uh, is there a second? Or, no? What? Oh, is there a third? What the, wait, what the fuck? Did, did that just fucking screen crack four times? Am I missing something? Or is those two different instances? Yeah, Barlak and Gine, okay. Dude, what? Those are the same. Is it fucking screen crack three times? What? That's cool, I mean, but... Oh, what the fuck? What? Okay, I don't know what those last ones mean, but... That, I mean, that's cool, I guess. Um, <laughs> some of those are kind of weird, but this is the, uh, this is the host for summoning. So it's kind of like the Broly theme that was in the background when they were fighting. Yeah, okay. That's, that's pretty, it's nice, it's nice. So that, that would be a nice one to hear. Um, like I said, we'll be getting summons like later tonight, maybe. Like, late, they'll be late tonight, of course, like one or one or two in the morning. But they, they will be coming, no less. But um, that, that's cool stuff, man. So, lots of coming. Um, this video dragged on a little bit longer than intended because there was stuff that came out later. But, um, yeah, so that's, that's everything so far. I'll look out for more news. Maybe I'll get something else out of the video. But until then, uh, hope you enjoyed. Take care, and as always, have a good one. Bye, guys.